From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. We're back now at 843 and this morning on today's Fountain of Youth, fearless boomers starting over. Despite the dismal economic news, millions are making a go of their own businesses and about half of those self-employed entrepreneurs are baby boomers. Jean Newell is a self-proclaimed boomerpreneur who launched her own successful business and CNBC's Sharon Epperson is a personal finance expert. Ladies, good morning. Good ladies, good morning to both of you. <laughs> good morning. Good to see you. Jean, give me the crib notes on your story here because yes. you have a product. You had this great product in mind, <laughs> but what were your personal circumstances when you decided to launch this business? Strictly out of necessity. I was in real estate and I was juggling five electronic devices all day long in and out of cars in the office. And after the second time during the morning, I had to call my own cell phone to find it. Right. I said, there's got to be a better way. And, and the, w the first steps in starting your own business, especially during these economic times that we're all living through, how scary were they? Very scary. Uh, very, but then what, what alternatives do you have? I'm almost 62 years old, and I found out that it's not. It's very difficult finding another career. You created this utility pouch, and yes. you've since gone on to another generation of right. them. How did you fund the initial enterprise? I went to the banks, but they... They wanted to know how long I'd been in business. I'd only been in business a couple months, and I looked at my watch, and they don't like to know if they say how long you've been in business looking at your watch. So I had to self-fund by going with a home equity loan. And, and was that a nerve-wracking thing yes, for you? Yes, it was. Gene, you got a big break. You, you, you took did. your product, and, and QVC accepted your product. Yes, that was That's good. like a business in a bottle right there. All it of is. a sudden, you're launched. Mm -hmm. And so, so how big a, a deal was that for it you? It was a big deal. I flew back and forth to Philadelphia from Orlando 35 times in 18 months and it uh, they sold over a hundred thousand of these in record time so you're firmly entrenched now you've yes. got a viable business yes. on your hands so she's a success story but let's not ignore the fact that for every gene there is a Joan or someone else or a right. Joe who tries to start a business and it simply doesn't make it right what so, do you say to it, well, they try again well you do have to try again and you have to actually have several think strategically and have a plan A, B, C already mapped out. You gotta know your product. In Jean's case, it's this utility patch. Some people though, it's the, they are their product. Uh, They're marketing themselves. Right. Marketing a service is terrific and the one thing that, that boomers have figured out, even more than small business over, overall, is they're gonna stick with that product or service in this very competitive environment. They're really gonna have to stick to that thing that they know and really grow that. Where'd you go to college? Southern, Southern Illinois University. I can't even say it. Yeah, they <laughs> must like be you. proud of you though. That's that's great. Congratulations on thank the business. You. Gene, thanks very much. Sharon, thank you as well.